Hello and welcome back to the Two-Man Drill. My name is Bailey and today we are reviewing the Pittsburgh Steelers draft. With the 20th pick, the Steelers select Kenny Pickett. Pittsburgh knows Pickett very well and had their choice of QB and decided to go with him. The next QB was selected in 66 picks, so I'm interested to see if the Steelers misheard the room or is Pickett rated that much higher than every other QB. Regardless, I think the QB battle between Pickett and Trubisky and Camp will be a close one and watched intently. With the 52nd pick, the Steelers select George Pickens. Pittsburgh continued the trend of selecting pass catchers in day two as they've done for the past five drafts and take Pickens. Pickens probably would have been a first rounder if he stayed healthy and developed a bit more in college, but the Steelers are great at coaching up wide receivers and I'm sure they'll do the same with Pickens. With the 84th pick, the Steelers select the Marvin Leal. Leal has the tweener label, but I think he'll be a great fit in the Steelers 3-4 defense at DE. His stock fell after some bad testing, but what he showed on the field gives me confidence in this pick. With pick 138, the Steelers double dip a wide receiver and select Calvin Austin. The Steelers lost Juju and James Washington in the offseason and need to reload their wide receiver room. Austin's a little smaller than the average wide receiver, but he has a lot of talent to stick around on team. With the 208th pick, the Steelers select Connor Hayward. A pick everyone saw coming, the Steelers add the brother of Cam Hayward for their fourth set of brothers on the team. Hayward will likely be used as a tight end slash fullback in the NFL and contribute on special teams. With pick 225, Pittsburgh selects Mark Robinson, Mississippi. Robinson is likely to head to the practice squad to gain some more development. With pick 241, the Steelers select Chris Oladokun. Oladokun is another likely member of the Steelers practice squad as a developmental prospect. It was a bit surprising to see the Steelers double dip a QB. They have a full QB room at the moment and calls into question the future of Mason Rudolph on the team. Overall, I would give the Steelers draft a C+. Kenny Pickett was not my favorite QB in the class, and I'm shocked they didn't draft a cornerback, but they addressed their need at wide receiver and picked up a starting caliber defensive end into Marvin Leal. And that's the two-minute drill.